Hi everyone, welcome back to the Crooked Smile podcast brought to you by Maca Media. Today is a special day once again, but for a different reason. It's a Valentine's Day special. Love. That's all I've got to say about this episode. And Emma joins us once again. Very exciting. Um, we have a lot to say, a lot of opinions about love, some conflicting opinions, some agreements. So it's a dynamic episode. I, I'd recommend you stick around. Let's get to it. Love, Emma, you're back. Love, Emma. Ooh. How's it going? Good, thank you. Welcome you back, guys? Emma. Yeah. Congratulations on being the first double guest of our podcast. Yeah. Oh, there's some really aggressive people in the crowd. Calm down, everyone. <laughs> um, yes, I'm so excited for this episode for a couple of reasons. First of all is having Emma back. The reception to the Emma episode was amazing. Um, so... Why not bring her back? And also... You're looking good. This is... Thank you so much. Also, this will be our first episode with fan interactions. And I'm really excited about that because in many podcasts, lots of the humor is driven by the fans, I'd say. Would you say? Yes. So we've got some funny people uh, that, have, that have commented. So thanks for doing that during the week. Well, it is a Saturday, but Johnny, but Sunday Start thoughts. Start with Sunday thoughts. Yay. Wrong music. <laughs> <laughs> you see, yeah, it was I thought that was the right <laughs> music. Robbie's oh, back from his hiatus, no. everybody. Robbie, it's way too loud, bro. Turn that down. Stop being. He's back from his hiatus, and he's already on thin ice again. I love you, Robbie. Right from the end of the Kandara episode to okay. missing an episode to clicking the wrong music now. Today's about love, Campbell. Today's about love, Campbell. And love doesn't just Tell have us to how be many you love Valentine's Day <laughs> might not be about love for everyone, Emma. There might be some people that it's not. Love doesn't have to just be relationship love, it can be family love. Okay, Sunday thoughts. So we'll start with my Sunday thoughts and then we're gonna go to the uh, audience QA Sunday thoughts, and there's some very clever ones in there. So my Sunday thought. The Beatles once sang, All you need is love. This is kind of like Taylor time. What do we think of that? Is that true or false? Yes. Thoughts, guys? True. True. What about food? <laughs> about food. <laughs> do you need food as well? Yeah, do you need, don't you need water before food? You need water before food. Oxygen, water, food. Rest. Shel shelter, I guess. Sleep. 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 How long can you Okay, go okay. Sleep? Food, water, shelter, oxygen. love. Oh, no, oxygen is just like basic. What's no. <laughs> Did you just take the oxygen for no, granted? No, what is your, what would you prioritise that, those four as? What about gravity? Okay, gravity. scratch the question then. Love, where does love fit in those? Yeah. Oxygen, love, <laughs> food, water. Well, do you live to eat or do you eat to live? Do you live to love or do you love to live? Deep. <laughs> Riz button, Riz button. <laughs> All right. Thoughts? Yeah. Is all you need love? Campbell, from you? True, false? Mid. Okay. Um, so deep. So scientifically, no, <laughs> you need more things than love, but. Yes. You need seven hugs you. a day. Seven hugs a day for your mental well being. Eight hugs. Yeah, eight hugs. I haven't yeah. been doing very well. Yeah. 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 I've been <laughs> missing one hug a day. <laughs> Do they have to be from eight different people or can they be just I be don't from know. one person? Not going to lie. Do animals count? It's pretty hard. It's a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Mm. And I don't think that I get eight hugs. I don't think I hug eight times a day. I hug my pillow sometimes. Does that count? Well, this is going great. You know those <laughs> pillows? Have you ever seen those pillows, the hug pillows that people buy? And it's like... Yeah, like have... the half boyfriend. Yeah. yeah. This is a sad way to start yeah. the Valentine's Day episode. But there might be a few people out there that are spending their Valentine's night with the hug pillow. Hmm. Anyway, okay, let's go to audience Sunday yeah. thoughts. Oh, I reckon cue the sting again. Yeah, I like this one. Rob. I like this. Good one. work. You're nice back. Job. Okay, so first one. This can we one break comes down each from. One? Yeah, we can. This one comes from Robbie McGregor, our good friend over in New Zealand. I want to hear what you think about these. Okay. Emma. So Robbie says, if you invited everyone you knew to a party, and then they did the same, and so on and so forth. Would everyone in the world be invited to this party? Yes. Do you think that 
through inviting one person, no, inviting everyone you know, them inviting everyone they know and so on, the social circle will continue to grow until everyone in the world is covered. Yes. Theoretically. Mm. I just, I don't, I feel like no. Actually, I don't think no. So. There's some random island in Indonesia that's yeah. got no touch with human technology yeah. or anything or connection to the world. And so they, they, would wouldn't be, be, they wouldn't be invited. They'd probably be really sad. <laughs> Lol. Lol. But are they, this could be silly, but are they um, <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Incoming are they silly included yourself. in the world population? Because how how do we know that they're there? True, that's Drone a good footage. Point. That's a good point. Well, we can't drone footage and them. People go there to like convert them to religions and stuff and get killed. So those people could be friends and they could invite them to the Whoa. party. Well, they're dead. Oh. Well, I don't know. Okay. I feel I'm final answer no. 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 Okay. Robbie. <laughs> but good thought from Robbie. Robbie went again, and this is this is one of my favorites of the of the week. But Robbie said, "If you are born deaf, do you think that when people <laughs> yawn, they're yelling really loud?" <laughs> should, we, should we try this? I don't know. You should get it. My grandma's deaf. Get her on the podcast. Imagine you're just going, and yawn. You're just going. You're just going. And they're like, "Ah, oh, what, what, what are they doing?" It depends what way? type of deaf oh. person. Because if the deaf person's a lip reader. I think. How do you lip read a yawn? Can you tell the difference yeah, well, between you'd be a yawn able to tell if you're a lip reader, but if you're not, if you're a hearing aid deaf person. <laughs> what if I was pointing oh my gosh. and yawning? What if I was like, yeah, and tricky. You... That adds another. You know um, how yawns when you see someone else yawn, Contagious. your neurons or whatever mirror it, and you. Yawn. Do you reckon when a deaf person sees someone screaming, they <laughs> yawn? <laughs> they start screaming. Or they see one person yawn and then another person yawn and they feel like Do numerous they just think people are screaming. Is a yawn? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. These are big questions. Lots of Sunday thoughts. They today. usually close your eyes when you yawn as well, maybe. Anyway. You close your eyes when you yawn. What about sneezing then? Sneezing. You sneeze with your. It's kind of sneezing is kind of. Can you? Really you can't sneeze thing. with your eyes open. Apparently. Yeah. We should try it. So a deaf person sees someone sneeze. What do they think's going on? They're sneezing. What else would you be doing? <laughs> Achoo, it's a very weird thing. Anyway, all right. Kieran Shine. As if we're naming people. Can we name people? We can bleep them out if you want. Kieran Shine said Johnny needs a haircut. Not really a Sunday thought. More like a Sunday A poll, observation. maybe. Poll. I'm going to get a haircut soon. But I, I think, think my hair you, looks good today. I think you yeah. look good today. Mm, I spent time I on think it. the hair accessory looks good today. Mm, yes. Can I be your Valentine's? <laughs> Maybe. Um, it's, not a, it's not a no. <laughs> Jake Marshall, would you rather fight a crocodile on land or a lion in the water? Crocodile on land. Yeah. Or I reckon lion in the water because crocodiles are... Emma's on. really thinking about this one. Lion in the water. Nah. I reckon lion. Robbie thinks crocodile. No lion way, in the water. Swim away from but it. crocodiles are amphibious. A lion in the water will murk you. Uh, the depends crocodile just will get run absolutely you storms you. you. Well, what's your proximity? It, dep it all just depends on your proximity. I saw a video of just a, swim away from the line. a leopard killing a crocodile in the water. Big cats are the apex predator of the world. If a crocodile is on I land, think, I think humans are. You've got the advantage because you can. See, Robbie I, says I think, you can jump on the crocodile. You know, I a, don't know if I have the coordination. There's a that. James Bond movie, which is so ridiculous because you can beat a to crocodile get away from something. Roger Moore jumps across numerous crocodiles. I think crocodiles are pretty fast, though, on land to run. Yeah, but there's not agile. They can only run in a straight yeah, line. Yeah, but lions aren't agile in the water. Yeah, yeah. they are. Uh, yeah, they no are. One's I've really seen some videos. Though. I've seen some videos. I say Trust him, I say I'd rather lion in the water. Videos. Crocodiles are amphibious. We'll put a poll on the Instagram. We'll poll. Okay. And the last one. Oh no, yeah, the last one that we'll do for today and it will link in beautifully. It'll be a nice little segue. Josh Keach asks, can love be found on dating apps? Yeah, why not? No. I feel like we've talked about this, haven't we? Yeah. Josh Keach clearly doesn't watch the podcast. No, I think, I don't know if we've talked about dating apps in particular, but I have sworn off dating apps. I don't think I'll ever use dating apps. How many Valentines do you reckon are found on dating apps? Do you think the number of matches on Valentine's Day increases or like the days Ooh. leading up to Valentine's Day increases? 100%. Just people just being like anyone. 100%. It's like the birth conception rate. People just don't want yeah. to be lonely. 5% ah, increase. NHS did a study in the UK. Really? Speaking of love, 
as Josh Keach just talked about. Yes. Today's a special day. It's the Valentine's Day special, mm. as this episode will be airing on Valentine's Day. Mm. So yes. I think it's time for our deep dive on Valentine's Day. Let's do it. Valentine's deep dive. Valentine's Day, 14th of February, iconic day for people, I would say. Yes. Around the world. For the world. It is the annual. Some people. <laughs> <laughs> Not everyone. It's a bit of a, you got to be in the club sort of thing. you got to be, you got to have someone. I haven't had a My point good exactly. Valentine's Day, I'd say, unfortunately. Your Valentine's Day was probably better than mine last year. What happened last year? So last year, and bear with me, you might jump as you hear the first words, but it's all got meaning. Continue. Okay. Fair. So last Valentine's Day, I lost my um, oral and anal virginity. Oh, my God. Please don't tell this story. Because I had a colonoscopy and gastroscopy. You told me that. So I had a colonoscopy and gastroscopy. Oh, my God. Or whatever you call it. Last Valentine's Day, <laughs> and I had a sore throat and behind for the day. Okay, and that's how I spent ew. last Valentine's Day. <laughs> so I think your Valentine's Day last year was better than mine. Uh, yeah. I don't remember what I did last year. I don't know what to say. Didn't see that coming, did you? No. no. Um, Emma looks very disturbed. <laughs> how are you feeling right now, Emma? I don't want to talk about that any okay. longer. Yes. Move to deeper dive. So do you usually... think? <laughs> do you, don't say deep a dive. Do you, now I know why it's called the Valentine's Day deep dive. Oh, I was wondering why it's called that. Um, Emma, are you usually a fan of Valentine's Day or is it case by case? Can I guess? Sure. Yes. I love Valentine's Day. You're a very loving person. Be- so I can yeah, imagine. because I love love. Like I just think it is like the best thing ever. Mm. And I love seeing other people in love. I mm. love like watching couples. I, I think Valentine's Day too. is so cute. Seeing who is paired up with who. Like every, you know what I mean? Like I don't want to say weirdos, but like every person has like their person. Everyone finds yeah. their person and they all come out on <laughs> Valentine's Day. You see all Why these people that are in true. love. It's, it's true. So every person cute. has their person. We've talked about this. It's so cute. So you love, love not everyone, it. Johnny, not everyone. So you, so you love love? I love love. So do you love something that's fake? What? Don't you say love is fake? Do you usually love fake oh. things? <laughs> oh. Things that aren't real? Try to keep, I try to keep optimistic. Yes, I'm gonna um, be. It's like a good cop, bad cop. We can do like ha- love Valentine's Day. Yeah, I try to. So stay, what's that make me? I try to stay optimistic. Neutral cop about it. <laughs> Neutral yes. cop. No, I think, I think it's, I think it's great if other people can, if you can enjoy Valentine's Day. But do you think the, it's evolving? Do you think Valentine's Day is changing compared to what it used to be? I think that. Um, it's lost its true meaning. I feel like I think, it's lost its spark. Yeah. I think there's a very, like, genuine baseline of Valentine's Day of just expressing that you love some. You know what I mean? Like, not yeah. even love someone, just, like, sending someone a card and being, like, love you or, like, from your secret admirer. Like, mm. do you know I mean? it's the fun of it. And now I feel like people expect, like, it's lost the authenticity of it, I think. You need to save Valentine's Day. Yeah. Mm. It's like the Grinch has stolen, the Grinch of Valentine's Day has stolen Valentine's Day. What? You're like the fairy godmother of love. I could be. You could be. I would take that position. How do you think people can rejuvenate Valentine's Day? Well, I don't know. I've like, my TikTok has been full of Valentine's Day things. And I think that like people are not commercialized, but like if like people just expect like roses and chocolates and this, and then I feel like it's not about that. Mm Mm-hmm. It's about like the genuine thought Just of like time. wanting to go do, yeah. Well, how much That's money? Nice. They would make so much money from selling yeah. chocolate and flowers the day of and they but surely not even hike businesses. the prices up. I feel like people, like yeah. people in relationships are like expecting all these big things. True. It's a lot of pressure. Well, yeah, <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure it's a lot of, I'm sure it's a lot of pressure. Um, I, I, I think I, I love the fact that you find that so nice to see all different matches of people and don't you think that is just so cute that is yeah i feel like out of everything valentine's day gives me hope for humanity yeah that like everyone has found their person's like one day i will you know what i mean like Mm. it like i rather than like looking at valentine's day being like oh 
Like now, do I don't have anyone? It's like, oh my god, maybe next year I will. Like, maybe this is my last one. You're so optimistic. Alone. Mine yeah. was Easter until I found out that Easter Bunny wasn't real. Wait, what? But then this is what Emma's saying. That's not the point. That you of never Easter. The point of you Easter like, is yeah, Jesus. the Easter before you knew the bunny wasn't real. You didn't know that that was your last Easter, knowing that the Easter bunny was real. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. So this could be like this could be all of our last. Well, not you, Campbell, but like all of our last single Valentine's Day. And then how exciting is that? That next Valentine's Day, you could be with the person. It is exciting. Do you know what I mean? Or I the think next that's year. Really exciting. Or the year after it's, that. It is exciting. Or maybe it's maybe in ten years. For to, some people, they have down. they go on yeah, a different whoa. pace. You need to calm down. I thought we were talking about love. Too. I thought we were talking about love. I am talking about. I'm love. not feeling the love. Talk about talk about love. <laughs> <laughs> Do you watch Love on the Spectrum? No, but oh, I've been, I've so been recommended it. I've been recommended. They are so. Why cute. does everyone say this? They go, "Have you watched Love on the Spectrum?" They go, "They're so cute." They That's are so patronizing. They, no, but they sang, "Can you feel the love tonight?" To uh, each other. That's the only reason I said. Oh, it. did they? Yeah. What's your favorite love song? Do you think? I don't know. I don't think I have like a a love. I definitely do, but it like doesn't. Pop what? Okay. To mind. Let me rephrase it because every most songs are about love. Or Ty Wade. Or Loss of Love. Oh, my favourite yeah. love songs. What's your favourite song with love in the title? What's your favourite song with love in the title? True Love by XXX Tentacion and Kanye West. Beautiful. Actually, do you know what song I really love? Is that song that's like, um, You Can't Hurry Love? I would need to listen to that. What about you? Alone, Is guess. it Love's, let me guess, <laughs> Love Story? No, that's a good one. It's alone again. You were being so mean, Campbell. I had a feeling I was going to walk into the studio and Campbell was going to spend the whole episode. Yeah, I feel like Campbell's really laughing mean. about me. Anyway, feel the love. deep dive. What do you think about when people ask you about being your Valentine's? Like, is there a way to do it? Mm. Like the secret card, will you be my Valentine's? The dating app message. It's kind of evolved with technology, I feel. Because back in the day at high school or stuff, I was reading a few forums and stories about it, really trying to get into my research for this episode and apparently in the US it's pretty big with secret admirer cards and stuff. Yeah, I can see that. And then they have like the prom, it's, all, it's, it's that, that culture like asking people like to the prom and doing also, and then people to try to do it for social Why, media. Why would you guys, as boys, men, men sorry. <laughs> Many men. Um, do you guys think it's necessary to ask someone to be your Valentine? Campbell, have you asked Emily to be your Valentine? Um, yes, I think it just goes hand in hand if you're dating someone. If, I feel like you only That's need to, very controversial. I feel like you only need to ask someone to be a Valentine if you're not dating them. Why? Why do you just assume? Because if you're dating someone, I think it's like assumed that they're your Valentine. Like you still do something for Valentine's Day and like do all the stuff, but I don't feel like you need to ask them. I think mm. this ties in with the authenticity of it. Like Take even it asking someone, asking someone to the ball. If you're dating someone, True. I feel like it's still nice to ask them oh, to go to your ball with that. you. I agree with that. That was the biggest thing. Like, yeah. I feel like it's part of the tradition. Like I feel like part of Valentine's Day is asking someone, like, would you be my – like, do you want to be my Valentine kind of thing? Like to answer your question, I don't think it's necessary. Like I wouldn't be mad at my boyfriend if he didn't ask me. Yeah. But I feel like – Well, in the past, but have I feel you like been asked by assume. boyfriends? I actually don't know. I can't remember. You could go almost more jokingly like be my Valentine. Yeah. Take it from take some advice from us, Campbell. Yeah, Campbell. So Me. what are your Valentine's Day plans then? Oh, well, it's a mystery. Well, this comes out on Valentine's Day, so you'd be doing it right now. But what if Emily watches it before <laughs> As you're watching Campbell's I'm doing sorry. Valentine's <laughs> Day. <laughs> this is happening in live time. And Johnny is flipping burgers at Flipside. Shout out Flipside. <laughs> <laughs> Love heart burger um, patties. I've got, some, shape them. Oh my God. I've got some ideas planned, but I don't really want to spoil the surprise because the main. Well, you'll be doing it at the time. So you just no, have to stop your Valentine she from has listening to the at episode. She's working lunchtime to 8 p.m. So I'm not really going to see Whoa. her on the day of. I'll see her on the Thursday night to do something. Oh. Wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> no, what do you mean, ew? I'm going to. Go give her flowers while she's at work. Oh, that's cute. Why can't you just tell her? She the can buy herself I don't flowers. She's probably going to watch this because it comes out at 9 a.m. And... She can buy herself flowers, write her name in the sand. She <laughs> can take herself dancing. Do you think on Valentine's Day there's an increase in PDA and that sort of thing? Yes. Well, I was going to talk about things that annoy me 
that couples do <laughs> and especially on Valentine's Day. But just in general, I was going to talk about that. Very, very, very suave there, Campbell. Um, Thanks. There's a couple of things and you might disagree. Agree, feel free to agree, disagree on this. But there's some things, some places where it's like, mm, okay, I'll give you an example. The one that really pisses me off is people holding hands at uni. Really pisses me off. This is a place of learning. <laughs> this is a place of academia. Don't hold hands. <laughs> holding hands in class or holding hands walking oh, that around class campus? As well. Walking around campus. Like, walking around campus. Okay. But like, but like in class. Like I've never I've seen, seen that. Like people in lectures like head on the shoulder. I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm trying people, to learn. I've seen people in the library what like is going kissing. On? One time yeah, in the library terrible. as this girl like came and sat, I'd assume her boyfriend's table, but each their own, came and sat on his table, like on his notebook and then just started kissing him and he was sitting <laughs> in the chair and I was like, couldn't look away. I'm but... trying to study my business analysis. <laughs> Leave me alone. Yeah. I mean, okay, for them. That would probably make but me like, very sad if I was On yeah. Valentine's Day? No. Just in general, I don't want to know day. what they just do on general. Valentine's Day if oh, that was no. just a normal day. <laughs> oh, God. Do you have any what other? Well, I was going to open I open it up to the floor. I was going to say things that are a bit too far. I was just saying, yeah, general PDA in places like the gym, university, the gym, the gym. I've seen it before in the gym and I'm not a fan of it. It's just like places where there's lots of people and that's okay. Like you could like if you like the beach. Cuddling or, and kissing in the gym. Like, yeah. At 5 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> At a place that doesn't have a romantic, it's not supposed to have a romantic, I guess, stigma attached to it, you know? Stigma. It's not, it's not supposed to be a romantic place. Like university, no. Gym, no. The kitchen. In <laughs> university, <laughs> no. Let's name some more places. Gym, no. Robbie, any ideas? Hospital. What? Uh, depends on the circumstance. <laughs> he right? said that so confidently as there well. Could be like, when was the last? It could time be like a last goodbye. It could be like a last goodbye. You're like, no, no kissing, no kissing. <laughs> funeral. Stupid. Funeral. People walking up uh, at a funeral. <laughs> okay. What about what about like what about at a restaurant? People kissing at the table at like across the table. Like they both lean over the table. Um, no, under the table. <laughs> Well, are they sitting next to each other? Or either, are they either, adjacent? either. But just like you're sitting at dinner and you look over and someone's kissing at their table. Mm. Well, I think if they're sitting... Oh, actually, no. It, it depends. Yeah, it's PDA. Maybe he's just proposed. Good well, then, point. Good they've point. probably left the restaurant. Speaking of restaurants and dating, question. <laughs> Do you think... And this might depend on what date you're on. or not, not, Maybe not at a restaurant. Restaurant, you're going to sit across from each other. But like cafe or something like that. Would you ever think to sit like, was that adjacent no. rather than across from someone? Or is it just ha always across? Is that just dating? Let's like, say your first, second, third, fourth date, maybe first date you sit across. At one point, would you like maybe try to get closer and sit? Personal opinion. Um, I wouldn't say hate because that's a really strong word, but I really dislike Love. going on um, like food eating dates mm. until like quite a while into the relation, like until quite, because okay. I feel like it's so awkward just staring at each other and you're like trying to talk. <laughs> to well. You're trying to talk, but you're like eating, but like you feel awkward, like putting this in your mouth. And then like, I don't know about everyone else, but, like I like stare at my fork for so long, trying to get like a really small bite. And then you like <laughs> have to try and think like. You're like having a you, little. Yeah. Because like what? Like, Look at me. I'm, yeah, I'm, I, I'm a skinny bitch. I don't know. Like. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> not even for that. Like genuinely, because like, what if it like doesn't all fit in your mouth at one time? It's like mid conversation. Like, it's just so it's awkward. Just spaghetti and then, like, falling out of your yeah, mouth. Yeah, no, I just try and avoid it at all costs. Well, I feel like I guys, don't. guys in that situation don't even realize. That yeah. <laughs> they do just you order think? the biggest steak they can find yeah. and just. Maybe it's a girl. I've heard thing. about that. That oh, it's no, a girl thing where they're like... self conscious about eating in front of like. But it's first not because like people. I'm eat like I happily eat like. Oh no, my foot side burger. Anything. But like, it's just, I don't know. I feel like especially first dates when you're like trying to get to know each other yeah. and you're like trying to talk and then do you yeah. know what I mean? Well, chivalry is now dead. Sorry. No. No, there's what wonderful What's other the dates. With eating? It's a classic, a dinner yeah, date. Yeah, I know, I know. You have to have something like, uh, Sorry, Emma. But just not for your first one. Maybe it's not something that has like, if you're having a burger, <laughs> it's kind of hard. You're like, 
So yeah, so what what is your what is your mum do? Oh, shouldn't you sound like you Also, know? I think I'm um I do actually like sitting next to somebody. So, yeah? yeah. I, I was gonna say I think from first day onwards it's better to sit next to than across from. Yeah. So if, if you're going to a restaurant, you probably would Just in sit. general, I'd much rather sit next to than across from. Because I like Ooh. being really close. That's a bit to the forward to first date, I'd say. Look, are you dating to date them or are you dating to get rejected? Oh, what's that got to do with anything? To sitting, be safe, first date, you should just go contact. for like mm. a walk or a coffee. Or, yeah. Mm. Or a yacht yeah, club, that, or a yacht club cool. dinner date. <laughs> oh, is that from experience? Cute. But we just said no dinner. No, I was saying that was my first day with oh. Emily. What did oh. you eat and was it too hard to eat and talk? No, I had a steak sandwich. Mm. Did you? Oh, st- sandwiches <laughs> and burgers on dates. Do you? Nightmare. <laughs> do you, okay, I, I particularly like avocado toast or like scrambled eggs on toast. On a date? Do you cut, do you cut with your knife and fork? Scrambled eggs on toast. Okay. Yes. So I can avo toast, it avo toast or like a sandwich. Do you just like oh, bite into it hands. or do you, cause it's so awkward. And like when you can't cut it and you're like, keep trying to tell your story <laughs> and you like, can't cut yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The I one thing you that. can't eat on a first date is wings. Cause it's just. What it's, about ribs? Yeah. Same thing. <laughs> just the hands on messy food. I just. <laughs> what about nachos? No, nah, cause you can share the nachos and it can be romantic. See, so like, what are you studying at uni? <laughs> <laughs> No, you can share nachos because it's a shared dish. Okay, but well, Johnny, not, what do you think? But sitting across? Sit, sitting okay, across or to next start to with you? sitting across because you want to like do the eye contact thing and then once you become more comfortable with people, you can kind of like, I don't know. I don't know. People talk about like making moves and it's better to sit like adjacent, but then. Oh, uh, no, yeah, I don't know. Is, I just feel like is, first date should be like. Oh, okay, yeah. First time, I feel like first time going out to have like a, doesn't have to be a first date. Okay. But you're right, you're saying first date, you shouldn't be going to a restaurant. In my opinion. Which makes sense. I would just prefer to do something else. I think activities would be good, like yeah, bowling, like I reckon, mini golf. I think it's mini so golf, cute. Mini golf, top, I think top you always see the couples like walking, not along the beach, but like along the path. I think that's really cute. Mm. Like I think that's a cute first date thing. Walking is cute. Yeah. Hot girl walk. Yeah. Well, I'd like to swing back to Valentine's Day with the gifts. So what do you think is an appropriate Valentine's Day gift? Because you hear stories of people that like go all out and buy like really fancy jewellery and nice stuff and then there's people that just do the chocolates and the flowers. Like is it that big of a deal that you have to get a gift gift or is it more like a tokenistic I appreciate you sort of gift? I think that everybody – I feel like I've – had a lot of opinions this podcast, but Good. That's I think that going. It's, it's all subjective. I, Everything I think we talk that about. every single couple should do the love language test. Mm. And if you're in a couple and you haven't done the love language test, French, do it right now. <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> love language is French? Oh, no, she means like, touch. I know, I know. Yeah, but I'm just so there's joking. five. For people who don't For know, the there's podcast. five love languages. Bonsoir. And I th- and everybody has the love language that they do to show someone that they love them and they have a love language that makes them feel loved. And I think your Valentine's Day gift should align with what the other person receiving love language is. Are they what usually love different? languages are multiple? Then do it all. Then Go what all if they're that. multilingual? But like some... <laughs> do, do people have different... So before you go on, do people have different, are those different, the one that you have Sometimes. to someone than someone has to you? Sometimes. Okay. Sorry, continue what you were saying. But I like if, like, <laughs> for example, not that my mum would be my valentine, but I but know. you love your mum. I love my mum. But I know that my mum's love language yeah. is acts of service. So I know that, like, oh. if I wanted to show her, like, for Valentine's Day, like, I know my dad would do something that's, like, in acts of service, to, like, for that. I feel like that is the way that gifts on Valentine's Day should be done. Taking the Some people out. are gift give like some people love getting gifts and then mm. they should definitely go full out on gifts. Yeah, some well, people are quality time. That's one of them is love one of the love languages is is what are the five materialistic again? gifts. <laughs> um <laughs> gift, gift giving. Touch. Um words of affirmation, physical touch, quality time mm. and acts of service. What do you think yours is? All of them. No, so there if you're has to be this, one. Emily, all of them. <laughs> I want all. Give it to me. Mine is French. What? 
<laughs> You're just, no, okay, what do you actually think? How do you show people you love them and how do you like to be oh, loved? It's a very this personal is, question. This is a deep dive. Yeah, well, we said deep dive. This is, almost, yeah, this is getting almost too personal. You go first. Um, mm, I don't know. <laughs> 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 um, Stitched him up mm. here. I'll go first because I've taken the test. If you want, I, do, I think quality time. Yeah, that's the same as me. I and think, physical touch. And also, I'm poor, so you know. No, quality time. No, quality how time do over you, gift giving. No, I'm kidding. What, like, when someone does something out of those five things, what would make you be like, wow, they really love uh, me? I think quality time. Yeah. I think quality time. Touch and service. Really? Our family's always really big. Which one? With how would you describe time? service? So, like, if I saw that, or uh, if I taking saw taking the bins out, yeah, <laughs> kind of, yeah. So yeah. effort that's not so much a reward, but it's more the effort. Yes. Yeah. Like, yeah, I guess. So, like, so. making a picture book, not because it's super expensive, but because it took time to do it. No, that's a gift. If you're giving someone a picture book, that's you're giving them a gift. But it's like the process. Access service of, is like if I got in your car. And I noticed that you, like, I got in your car to, like, quickly drive somewhere and I noticed that your tank was empty, I'd fill it up for you. That's, oh, like, thanks. acts of service because then, like, you don't mm. have to go do that. The good thing about acts of service is that can be an all year round thing as well. They don't just have to be a Yeah, or, like, if I was going to go get water and I'd just bring you water as well. Mm. I'm just going to do touch then because all this other stuff's too confusing. Campbell hates <laughs> service. Campbell hates serving people. Yeah, I don't like taking out the trash. <laughs> Let me take out the bins for you. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> That's not going to be me. On uh, the card, I took out the bins. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. I cleaned your bed. Happy Valentine's Day. I, um, yeah, I was going to say cleaned your room, but that's okay. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. I ironed your dress. Happy Valentine's Day. I made you breakfast in bed. Yes. Yes. Good one. Yes. Well, then should we do that? He's the 10. Okay. So we're going to try not fall into classic viral TikTok trend okay. thing and think outside the box with these. We're thinking outside the box. This is, we, this, is right. this is a big one for girls. For all the girls out there, they will agree with this. He's a 10, but he gets you the wrong colour jewellery. Do you mm. guys know about this? That's harsh. No, explain. He's silver or gold. Every single girl is silver or gold. Oh. And it, I think it is like just really? the most like bow, bow. If your girlfriend is gold and you get her silver. How are people so what silver are you? or gold? I'm actually, I'm gold. You'd want to be gold. What if you're it's both? number one? No, I, one. I am actually both, but I wear more gold. Okay. Question. Why would people yeah, want to be silver? I gold agree. is one. Gold is no, all it represents. Cool. Emily's silver. Know, but gold is, yeah, but gold is the gold medal. I think top tip for. Actually, Emily's both. Top tip people for anyone both. buying jewelry out there. You can always tell by, like, if a girl has sleepers, like earrings that she always oh. wears in her ears. That's how you can tell if she's gold or silver because she most likely never ch every single day. Just every now and then. Yeah, well, then just pitch it on that. Like you're you, making it complicated. Have you always classified as gold? Okay. No, I actually, I've gone so through silver. So he's a 10, you but he it, doesn't know silver or transition. gold. So what rating is he? Wait, what? That's the whole point. You go. Oh, um, mm, zero. Seven. <laughs> seven. Six. Oh. Six. Wow, four points lost. Because it means they didn't know you. Like they didn't notice yeah, that yeah, you wear yeah, gold yeah. jewelry. True. Is it my turn? I was agreeing with you. Sorry, I was agreeing with you. <coughs> this better be a good one. She's a 10, but she doesn't understand the significance of the 1933 stage drive stag fire and how it gave Hitler and the Nazi party wartime power, catapulting Germany into World War II. Go. 11. <laughs> she a she's cool a 10, she's a 10 but she doesn't understand that Hermann Goering was the person behind the right stag fire and she's, it was a play. She's a 10, but if she has big pots and minis, she'll use the big pots first. She's a 10, but she doesn't understand that at one point Napoleon controlled all of continental Europe. She's a 10, but she's obsessed with star signs. She's a 10, but she doesn't understand the issues of processing lithium onshore. She's a 10, but she doesn't know who Brock Purdy is. <laughs> Brock Purdy. She's a 10, but um, she doesn't like Sunday thoughts. She's a 10, <laughs> but she hasn't seen Star Wars or Lord of the Rings. She's a 10, but... She thinks The Godfather is a silly movie. She's a 10, but she doesn't know how Constantinople fell. Yeah, that's a good one. I don't think I could top that. Uh, she's a 10, but she doesn't understand the cultural significance that Genghis Khan had on Asia. She's a 10, but Christian Bale isn't her favourite Batman. 
Campbell's reading these off. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think of these. She's a 10, but she doesn't know about the 1948 Prague Spring where Jan, Jan Masryk died of defenestration. defenestration. She's a 10, but she doesn't understand the power of Blitzkrieg. She's a 10, but she doesn't understand Werner Heisenberg's theory on quantum mechanics. She's a 10, but she doesn't know I am become death destroyer of worlds. She's a 10. Emma, have you got any more? I'm sorry for that. We had to go to, on a tangent then. We had to. <laughs> we had to. No, mine just sounds silly. Um, he's a 10, but he doesn't say the words happy Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah. One, solid one. Can you also link in the asking to be Valentine into that as well? Yeah, because I think it's the same as like happy birthday. Like mm. it's like f fun to celebrate someone's birthday, but I feel like you have to say happy birthday. Yeah. If yeah. your boyfriend didn't say actually say happy birthday, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like if your boyfriend didn't actually say like happy Valentine's Day. But that's a two-way thing. Then you have to say happy Valentine's yeah, Day? Yes. These are meant to be taken lightly. <laughs> He's a 10. I'm taking it lightly. He's a 10, but um, they give you a pre-written Valentine's Day card and they only wrote their name in it. Oh. What Does do it have like a that? shitty message? Is it like It solid just says four. happy Valentine's Day and then it just says the name. Like, solid four, solid four. Do you reckon? No gift, that's it. <laughs> Is it just like, does it say, you just get the card. I don't know. It says like on the inside. That, Is that two? coming from personal experience? No. Well, that's what you mean when you said, do you reckon like that? I feel like it shouldn't be it. What if it opens a card that says, be my Valentine? Because it actually Gianni. has. <laughs> wait, it has come as personal experience. We're not getting, oh, we no. can't get this personal. <laughs> Gianni. We won't, name, we won't name in shame, but I'm I'll so, get, I'll I'll get a blank so card that doesn't that. say anything. <laughs> I would get a blank card that doesn't say anything. With like a cat in the front and just say Johnny. If anyone's <laughs> out there that ever dates not ever in the future, do not do that. Do not. Yeah. Oh, okay, was... moving. Um, they're oh, ten. Are you okay? Are you they're okay? ten. Serious. Um, but they got you the same thing because they thought they got it right the last year. Please don't tell me this is from no, 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 no. Well. Okay, example of something that someone would get again, thinking that it would be because there's not many gifts that, or you're saying like. A bracelet and then another bracelet and like, another bracelet. Like a Taylor Swift cardigan. <laughs> <laughs> I, only, I only got that once. <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry, Emma. Um, examples. <laughs> like, I don't know. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. They like, let's say they got you a watering can. And then you're like, oh, my God, I love it. And then the next year they got you another watering can because they thought they nailed it last year. <laughs> what am I going to do with two watering cans? Exactly. <laughs> it's like the toaster thing. If people buy people toasters. If more than one yeah. person buys a toaster, what's the fucking point? <laughs> you Whoa, only need one John. Unless you really like but toast. I can see where guys in particular are like, oh. Smashed it hmm. out last year. You're going to do it again. Actually, the logic yeah. is like, hmm, okay. I really like these barbecue tongs. <laughs> well, she got she really like. I'm trying to think of another good example of a one-use thing. A toothbrush. Yeah. Washing machine. <laughs> washing machine. Wow, that's a big. Yeah, gift. that's a. That's a big. I'm happy to take two washing machines and sell them. Make machines. some money. Yeah. Oh, true. You can sell a watering can. What do you think about Valentine's Day gifts that then you never use? Like what? So someone gets you something like jewelry, but then you never ever end up wearing it. Because it's not your type of jewelry, it's not your style, but you can't be, you can't say, "Oh, I don't like it. Take it back and get me something else." You just take it, but you never wear it because you don't. Oh, like taking it. back gifts on Valentine's Day thoughts. Ooh. Is that what you're saying? I don't think has that ever happened. I I Probably. reckon. Well, say you're a silver jewelry girl, and then oh, that's you get given a gold necklace, and you you don't want to say, "Oh, I don't actually wear gold. Take it back." You just want to be polite and take it. So you hate the gold necklace but then you never wear it because it's not your color i think mm. with the jewelry thing um like there's always going to be a time where you like will you know what i mean like one day you will wear an outfit that you need a gold necklace do you mm. know what i mean but just in general like that I sort of I know what you mean you know what mm. i'm saying mm. um <laughs> i don't know i feel like all girls like you kind of do wear as same with boys i'm sure boys get clothes from their girlfriends that they're like I love it. But like, 
and you kind of only wear it, like you wear it when like they're around or something. I don't know. Ooh, I don't think I've ever given a gift wear back. It when they're around. Yeah. My nan does that. Good strategy. I got her a <laughs> fake Gucci watch in Europe and she wears it every time she sees me. See, that's cute though. That's I think so that's nice. nice. And if, even if someone finds that out, I think that's like in nice intentions, right? Yeah, they're still right? pretty, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'll, oh, actually I won't say that. Have you ever given a gift back? No. Yeah, I don't think you, because a gift is like someone thought about it and gave it Yeah, but I've had gifts that I've never ended up using. What about Claremont Quarter voucher for Valentine's Day? <laughs> for Valentine's Day. <laughs> what? You can get whatever you want. It's the best gift. Very versatile. Very versatile. Was there any more he's a 10s? Um, yes. He's a 10, but he buys you carnations. What's a if carnation? If anyone out there is buying carnation flowers. What in carnation? You're cancelled. What's a carnation? The worst oh. flower ever. Did you just say you're cancelled? You're cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Cancelled. You're, yeah. fi you're fired. Worst, 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 worst flowers. You're fired. Well, I don't even know what they are. Right, so. yeah. That's good. You're on a good track then. Do you have to actively. I thought it was roses for Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Yeah, but like just in general. Are they like. Wait, what, what are carnation? Insert a photo of a carnation while I find one. Do, can you get like. Can you get like. Can you accidentally buy okay. carnations or do you have you to. Know actively, exactly. You know exactly. You always see. They're the flower that you see like in the flower stand at the end of the day that nobody's even looked at. Oh. Those ones. Oh, fuck. I've bought those before for mum, I think. <laughs> not, <laughs> not F. Damn, I've bought those for mum before, I think. And last one, um, if you're going to buy your girlfriend clothes or your Valentine clothes. That's good advice. Um, getting the wrong size and it's too big. Like getting a bigger <laughs> size. <laughs> Oh, bro. Whoa. Oh, that's so sweet. Because I feel like that would be so rough to so get. So you're saying as a rule of thumb, always like size uh, on down. The slow, yeah, size uh, on down the small so a size, I think. Nice. Just because oh, I feel like that no. would be so Great sad. Great advice, Emma. Great advice. That's Thank like the question. That kind of reminds me of the question. Someone goes, <laughs> does my butt look big? And it's like you get it wrong either way. Yeah. You can't get the question right. My dad says you just say, do you want a drink? Do you want a drink? Yeah. Wait, is it the response? Yeah, that should be the response. Or like, no, no, do I look fat in these? You don't, you don't, you definitely don't know how to say that. I love the old trick question, do I look fat in these jeans? What do you say? No, but you have to say no. That's obvious answer. But what if they think they look fat in the jeans and then they go, well, oh, but I do look fat in these jeans. Why wouldn't you just be honest with me? Oh. It's a trick question. That's why dad says, do you just say, do you oh, want yeah, a drink? That's, that's why it's tricky. <laughs> wow. Do I look fat in these jeans? Have a drink. <laughs> Riz. <laughs> Let me make a drink for you. Yeah. Well, I think that's about knowing the person, right? I think that's the time. Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story. And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. Cannonball! Whammy! 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 The wind is really windy. Well, you know the old expression. Nope. <sighs> Boy, that escalated quickly. Cam's so, news. Welcome back. Don't interrupt me, John. I hope you didn't fall asleep during that um, intro. <laughs> As it's Valentine's Day today, today's theme on Cam's news is love. love. Which celebrity couples are spending their first Valentine's Day together this yeah. year? Yeah. Can you turn the music down a little Can bit? Can we go Rob? thumbs up, thumbs Thanks. down, whether you think they'll last? Yeah. Until next Valentine's Until Day. Val okay, yeah. Will this be their one and only Valentine's Taylor Day? Taylor Swift and Travis Kelce. <laughs> Here's the one. Here's the one. Yeah. Do we think, well, it'll already have happened by the time this episode comes out, but do we think that he will propose to her if they win the Super Bowl? No. No. I saw... I was about to say, um, he told me, but he did not tell me. <laughs> you I saw that. a video um, and he said he, because someone asked him about Taylor, like his thoughts on Taylor's album or like Taylor, is Taylor coming to this or whatever? Mm. Oh no, is he going to Melbourne for Taylor's show or something like that? Okay. And he was like, um, he was like, my game, my head is in the game. Like I'm only thinking about the Super Bowl right now. I won't be answering any like questions. Fair. He would be so sick of it and she would be so sick. It's a very but also, I think a lot of correct answer though. Uh, yeah, I think a lot of NFL fans would be like getting annoyed that he's like they are. Talk, yeah. They are. That he's like talking. take the game seriously. Like he's well, a the professional NFL's athlete. become about he Taylor Swift. Yeah. But he said his head Alex Earl as well. 
But he said his head's in the game. No, but, but just I'm in saying, general. I think it's good that he said that because before, prior to that, it's I can imagine yeah, NFL yeah, fans being like. People get pissed off, but like he doesn't go around. It's the NFL that keep cutting to her in the box when he scores a touchdown. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't go walk around going, I'm in love with Taylor Swift. He doesn't do that. The sports bets odds and it's like, will he Travis Kills score a touchdown and then the camera will cut to Taylor Swift in the oh, Super Bowl? One dollar and one cent. No, it was a five dollar deal on points bet. That they'll that they'll cut to Taylor Swift. After he scores it's a touchdown. Happen. Is he gonna score a touchdown? Oh wait, yeah, that's I didn't even think about that. Um he yeah, he's their best receiver, so probably yes. Next couple. Okay. Timothy Chalamet and Carly Jenner. That doesn't that doesn't sit right with me. That relationship. It it's a bit sit of an right out of nowhere. Me, but I feel like so out of nowhere. I feel like you she's like it. very. They're, but they're the same well. age. They're I feel like similar age apparently. I feel like she's not mature, but like she's. Are they not the same age? She's younger. No, that's what you'd think, but they're not. They're the same age. Oh, that's weird. I remember think having that exact I same thought. I just see amigo. him as a little baby, Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> Yeah. I just see him as like a little baby. I don't know if I like him. I think he's a sulky baby. What is yeah. Going, what is going, like, what's going I, on? Right don't you now? know? People I, think he's attractive, but he's like that brooding. I guess not, it's the brooding thing, but it's like. Yeah. He looks like a rat. He looks like, I've never I like, been I like into Timothy that. Chalamet. I think he's a good actor. A, yeah. June. Great he's movie. Like, he's like, <laughs> June 2 coming out in a few weeks. Can't wait. I'm Timothy Chalamet. Yeah. I'm yeah. kind of French. Speaking of Jenners, Kendall Jenner and Bad Bunny. Can't say I know anything about it, but she doesn't really seem to keep many. Reggaeton. That's for a long da, time. Da, 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 and da, last da, da, but not da. least, PK and Clara Chiamarti, his new 23-year-old girlfriend. Who's so, PK? Oh, Gerard, Gerard PK. PK. So a bit of Shakira's background ex. story. Oh. <laughs> go, go, sorry. So a famous soccer player from Barcelona, from Barcelona, he's retired now but a famous soccer player who was married to Shakira for 10 plus years, has two kids with her, you know, Shakira, uh, obviously. Duh. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> he, and it's rumored, but it's pretty much confirmed. He cheated on Shakira with this 23 year old chick and then they got the divorce and everything. And then she released like a diss track song saying he traded a Rolex for a Casio. It was called hips don't lie, but PK does. <laughs> <laughs> and then so she's basically referring to herself as the Rolex and saying he traded her for the Casio, his new girlfriend. And then next thing he goes and signs a partnership deal with Casio. Casio, Watches. I was going to say Casio yeah. catching strays, but that's that's funny. <laughs> yeah. That's, mm, that's don't, I don't want to support no, that. I think they're not going to make, make it. Yeah. I think Once a cheater, always a cheater. Yep. Did we end up getting any good stories, finding any good stories to react to for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I actually True. did find one. I've got a few. Valentine's Day story. Uh -huh. Didn't we throw it out to our listeners as well? Yeah. Was there any responses? We'll get to them after our ones. Okay, I'm excited for that. There wasn't many. And they were oh. not happy. but. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, no, I, I know. I know. I know one of them. I've seen one. Wait, I want to hear those ones then. I feel like mine aren't as good. Let's do ours first. Let's okay, do ours okay, first. Okay. Yes. Do you want me to go? Oh, okay, yeah. All right. My first story, I've got three. Had a wonderful evening of wild sex with my girlfriend, <sighs> God, but she had to leave. There. It's not my story. It's someone else's no, story. No, it I just don't want. But she had to leave afterwards. The drummer of my band then had sent a text for the band rehearsal for the next day. So I ended up thanking him for a great evening of wild sex accidentally. Does that ever happen? Do you ever feel accidentally? feel like you didn't tell that story that well. Well, who cares because it leads message? on to – Well, do you think – has that ever happened to you? You accidentally message send the wrong things. text to the wrong person? Yeah. Yeah, but, but now it's pretty easy text. to delete messages. And you can also go, uh-huh, not for you. Uh-huh, <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh, sorry, wrong person. <laughs> X. But then people use that to the <laughs> oh, oh. Move on. Do you want to do your story next? Emma? Mine aren't that good. I'd rather hear the fan stories. They're not great. <laughs> no, the fan story. <laughs> this one's okay. uh, I'll do my second story. The Valentines, oh. I realized that Valentine's cards I'd been receiving from my secret admirer for years were in fact from my parents. Sad face. Rough. My parents, my mum used to send us Valentine's Day. Oh, but you knew it was from... From a secret admirer. Did you know it was from her? No. 
Oh, and what happened when you found out? Oh, that's sweet. I just always thought I had a secret admirer. But also, and gaslighting soul, was your soul crushed when you found out you didn't? Um, gaslighting for your mom. Yeah. <laughs> Gate keep no, your boss cute. gaslight. I think it's cute to Slay. know a secret admirer. That's rough. No, I think I was like 10. No, but that's nice as well. I was like 10. And I got like like chocolate. Everything. I yeah. like. It's like the Easter Bunny and the. Yeah, eat the chocolate. The, yeah, move on. And the Tooth Fairy. Yeah. All big lies. And Santa. Easter Bunny was a Santa. All big lies. <laughs> For me. All big lies paddled by parents. Mm. Parents in spotlight. Bring your parents onto the podcast. Mm. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Okay. While in nursing school, my friend and I thought it might be funny to send the five guys in our class an anonymous invitation to get together after school for a drink at a certain cafe. We'd send the inform- we sent the information to their house, fully expecting them to recognize it was a joke. Well, four of the guys showed up to the cafe, but the next day, the fifth guy, who didn't, asked the teacher for a moment to talk to the class and starts telling us that he received this card and his wife went crazy. Oh. She was now convinced that he was having an affair and threatens to divorce him. <laughs> Needless to say, he was not amused by our little prank. We ended up going to his house where we apologized humbly with flowers. <laughs> to this day, I'm still not convinced she believed us. That's Are they carnations? <laughs> were they carnations? They were what probably flower? carnations. That's pretty brutal. Do you reckon that happens I mean, a lot just, where people uh, get secret admirer cards and the wife or the husband finds them and then it, it could be a day for breakups just like it's a day for people to get together almost. Oh, breaking up on yeah. Valentine's Day. Well, because you find out you're being cheated it's on. It's definitely Surely happened. Surely there's a great story of a bre- Valentine's Day breakup that someone wrote. Well, I found one on Reddit where basically the guy said he was busy with his family and then she went to a bar with her friends and saw him there with another girl. But that, what an Actually, asshole. let me tell you my story. Okay. Okay. This is Lost Fan 815 story. It's Gemma's story. <laughs> in sixth grade, I had a crush on a girl and I wanted to send her a rose, something the school did. But I didn't want her to know it was me because my handwriting was incredibly distinguishable and I was really shy. So I paid one of my friends a dollar to write her name and happy Valentine's Day from your secret admirer in the card. He went to the desk, set up at lunch and turned in the card. Everyone at my lunch table watched as one of the teachers delivered the card to Lauren, the girl I liked. We continued to watch as she smiled and giggled with her friends. She then jumped up and ran to the desk where they were selling the cards, wrote some stuff down and ran back to her table. A few moments later, the teacher got up and walked over to my table. She gave a card to my friend, that I, the one I paid to write oh, the no. note. It was from Lauren. <laughs> she had recognised his handwriting and wanted to go out on a date. He got up and went to her table, accepted the offer. (laughs) They went on a date and dated as much as the sixth graders can for the rest of the year. She then moved to El Paso at the end of the school year and I never saw her again. That is pretty dog. That's why I don't believe. From a friend. I read that one on Reddit. Yeah. Dog act starting in year six. Yeah. That's crazy. Would you have taken the date? God, no. That's can't, terrible. Can't stitch up a homie like that. Sixth That's so grade. <laughs> he was not for the boys. Sixth grade is like 15, 14, isn't it? No, younger. 13. Well, six, it's, ten, different. Right. it's different in the US, the schooling Be grades. Ten. Sixth grade for us is 12. I wonder where that guy is Year now. six for us is 12. 12. He probably doesn't I wonder believe. if he's still. He probably doesn't believe in love after that. No. Mm. But I wonder where the date stealer is as well. <laughs> are you what is, user 6015, Johnny? <laughs> Lauren, no, no, that's not me. Let's well, did you fans. prepare any stories? No, oh. I thought I'd listen, and I was gonna, I was gonna, I told you to put the thing on the story to ask for Valentine's Day. I did. Day. So I did. those are my stories. Can I read them? <laughs> no. Are you gonna read them? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, oh look, there's a few. There's four. Okay, good. <laughs> read them out one one. Maybe don't say the names for these ones. From one person, he said. From one of our fans. 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 No, none because I'm alone. I'm so alone. None because I'm so alone. <laughs> Great Valentine's Day story. The other one doesn't make too much sense, <laughs> but it was, I'm going to name names. This was Jake Marshall. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. When I was younger, I made a date in Minecraft and then went on it with another player. And then it says, another player I controlled with a different controller. (laughs) Best date so far. (laughs) 
Minecraft Jake, Riz. <laughs> Jake Marshall's got game on Minecraft. And then <laughs> in someone's hands. What? <laughs> take it or, take it or leave it. That's what he said. Johnny Tate took it. <laughs> well, that's our Valentine's Day stories. I think all my Valentine's dates have all been like experiences. Not so much gift giving. Good or bad. Like I prefer to like go like outdoor movies or like outdoor movies. Like picnics, like that kind of thing. I feel like is more fun on Valentine's Day. Yeah, nice. But um my personal, my most personal like Valentine's Day stories is um, I think it was my first Valentine's Day I ever gave somebody something. I was pretty young. It was like my first crush. Um, and it's not that good of a story, but there is like I gave them, I put a rock <laughs> the shape of a heart in their post box at night, like the night before Valentine's Day. And I don't think they ever like knew it was from me. Like I think they just think there was a rock in their post box. Like was, I don't think. That was shaped like a love heart. It was kind of shaped like a – it was a natural – You gave someone a rock for Valentine's Day. Pretty, sure. <laughs> pretty sure Johnny was telling me a story about how when he was younger he found a love heart shaped rock in his No, I, I was literally <laughs> tell you – he probably listens. But he was like my year four crush. Oh. So, oh I was pretty young. I know who it is. Who? We should ask him if he got the, um, yeah. got the rock. I wonder if he thinks there was just a rock in his post box. Should we name him? Name Shmilly, his... Shmilly Schmoun. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. No. Wait. <laughs> Do you have – did you – did you ever know that I had put a rock that I thought was I'm the shape ask, of a love heart in your post him. box? Or did you just never know? <laughs> he, knowing him, he's probably the did sort you know of guy that just goes like – Knowing him, what? He probably just doesn't know. Knowing him, he's probably the guy that goes, huh. <laughs> just move but on also, like up. when I think back on it now, if I found a rock in my post box, I would just be like, "That's weird," and like throw it out. You should have thrown it through his window. <laughs> <laughs> then he would have got it. <laughs> True. Jeez. But yeah, to this day, <laughs> I'll never know if I guess we'll if never he know. knows that was my gift. So you're still cut up about it. Moral of the story is: don't give something something that could also just be naturally occurring. Yeah. <laughs> well, not naturally occurring, but occurring. Well, or get, he, put he a card his, on He got me. your love language. Oh, no, you got his love Did language. Did he the rock? Maybe. No. Was he just... was just a <laughs> great rock. <laughs> I don't know what rock. I was thinking. <laughs> hey, look at this rock. <laughs> <laughs> and you expected that he knew it was from you. <laughs> and I expected what? it to thank you. <laughs> Or a rock that I don't what even know. If he Why got? did you expect that he would be like, oh, rock, love heart shape? Why did it's I think from Emma for Valentine? Rock, awesome gift. Like <laughs> it's that's shaped like show a him. heart. <laughs> rock. Riz. I suppose in my head I was like, it's not like too much, but like it does. <laughs> it's not too much. <laughs> Nothing at all, really. <laughs> What's your love language? Giving rocks to people. <laughs> Dude, he picked it up and was yeah. like, this rocks. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best gift you've ever received? A rock. <laughs> yeah, the rock. Back. No, um, no, actually, probably one of my favourite Valentine's Days was going to the outdoor movie um, in Kings Park, watch The Notebook, um, oh. had a picnic. It was really cute. Do you cry at the end of The Notebook when you watch it? Every time or that time? Every time. Every time, yeah, but Every not time. that time. It just didn't feel <laughs> – I don't know. It just wasn't the right, like – Are you a movie crier or not a movie crier? Yeah. Big movie crier? Yeah. I know Johnny is. Cry. I've cried on planes. <laughs> like, uh, Are you? Yeah, you got I've it. I've cried watching The Office before, believe it or not. Yeah. The Office gets really sad yeah. when Michael leaves. Also, I'm trying to think of what recently – Oh, I cried. I'm actually you know just so watching The Bear. Sorry, Emma. I'm just watching The Bear at the moment and there's a really nice episode in the second season. It's all got closer crying with, with Richie. Richie. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That was a really nice, yeah. Robbie's happy with that. Sorry, Emma, what were you going to say? <laughs> just watched a movie the other day, um, The Unlikely Pilgrimage of Harold Fry or something like that. Such good movie, new movie. Okay. Very good, cried. Who's in it? Not good enough. Too busy crying. Don't know. No, like no one notable, but it was such a good movie. 
Okay. Really highly recommend. Really like real life. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I think it's really, I feel like in your 20s, it's a really good movie to watch. There's only one movie. And I, I've never cried while watching a movie, but there's only one movie that's nearly made me cry. Red Dog. Nope. Wow, you're so tough, Campbell. Do you want to hear what it is, Johnny? Yes. It is the last Avengers movie when Iron Man died. Oh, wow. That was quite recent. You almost you cried when Iron Man when, died. When Iron Man died, I nearly oh, cried. No, I was watching it in the cinema. Oh, no, fictional hero. Oh, it's so And I, so I sad. had to hold back tears because I did like the funeral. Why did I you started... have to? You could have let it out. Yeah, Campbell, you tough guy. I didn't want to be crying in a movie cinema when Iron Man died in front of Why? all these little kids. Be vulnerable. But they panned out. They panned out to all like his friends and stuff, and then they go to like his daughter. God, I love crying over fictional characters. And then the guys are, like, "I'll buy as many cheeseburgers as you want." And I was just like, no, "That's probably not what you should be encouraging a young little girl to do." <laughs> but <laughs> what? Yeah, Iron Man's death. Very sad one. If you don't want to cry while watching a movie, don't watch the entire Avengers series because the oh, last Red one will dog. get you. Red dog. Got Red me. dog. Oh, what else is there? I'm just trying to think of Spoiler very Spoiler alert, the dog movies. dies. I cried at the end of the We Water Zoo. Yeah. A while ago. Yes? Yeah. Do you even I'd like um, but I think he dropped Matt Damon drives past a cafe where he used to where he met his wife. I cried at literally everything. What about Jason Bourne when his wife dies? Uh it didn't doesn't stand out to me. So Can you cry laughing? Yeah. La what? Wait, what? What am I saying? <laughs> you can have can you happy tears like, of laugh joy while you laugh. Yeah, have yeah. you ever? I wonder, oh, yeah, I yeah. Have you ever cried so? Yeah. Have you ever laughed so hard, hard. <laughs> that you started crying? Yeah, Not cried so hard. Cried, yeah, <laughs> cried, cried, cried so hard. Have you laughed. cried so hard that you started laughing? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I've Hysterical. laughed so hard that I've had a tear yeah, come yeah, out of yeah, my yeah. Eye. Same. I almost had that then. Yeah, just before <laughs> with the rock. No, with the Valentine's Day story and the rock. <laughs> What's your go-to date movie? If you're having a date with someone, like a movie night with them for the first time, what's Love the movie actually. you got to I thought of such a good one the other day and I told – no, actually, I, don't know. You don't want to show I like think a there's movie, a real like a skill like... to choosing a movie yeah, on I, a date. I don't, think, I don't, I don't necessarily Street. want it no. – nah. God, no. I don't necessarily want it to be like the notebook. a soppy <laughs> romantic. Like you could have a movie where you could have like good insightful discussion during that would be – The cool. first movie I ever watched with Emily – Anchorman two, to That's get the yeah. to get the gauge of a sense of humor because it's, it's like film. a comedy comedy where there's jokes on all ranges of the spectrum from like not bad to quite bad. So you That's pretty clever actually. So then I get a gauge on what her sense of humor is. Mm. But I feel like you should just like if you watched a movie like Oppenheimer and you can have a discussion about that, you shouldn't. <laughs> you shouldn't. <laughs> is that what you fantasize about, Johnny? No. On a first date. <laughs> you were watching Not, we didn't say on a first date. <laughs> yes, we did. We said first movie. A first movie to watch? No, hey, we said a I movie watch to watch. Do you want to just gonna come on a date and not speak for three hours? <laughs> and then discuss the physicists and the theory behind creating I thought we were saying. Bomb. I thought we were just saying in general what movies would you be able to watch. <laughs> No, I don't think it was first. So See, Emma's laughing so hard she's crying. <sighs> no, I'm actually so annoyed I can't remember this movie. Not Oppenheimer, but you know, a movie that, you know, name. challenges your thinking a little bit. So you can actually... Doesn't have to be a first. No, I get what I'm you're not saying. saying that for first. I just What I'm trying to say is that not every movie that you watch with your partner should have to be a stupid soppy comedy, a romance or comedy or rom-com or whatever. Yeah. I feel like as, as obviously in your I first I reckon date. Pretty obviously Woman, Notting date. Hill are good options. Yeah, as rom-coms. Yeah. <laughs> Soppy rom-coms. I think they're good movies. Mm. I'm a Pretty Woman mm. fan. It's a great movie. Oppenheimer. Um, <laughs> well, I can't say it. <laughs> the Mummy. Yeah. 1999. Indiana Jones. What about Jones, a horror for a first movie? Raiders of the Lost Emma? Dark. Um, you don't I, like horrors? Nah. Wait, so you laughed at do me you know, for Do you know what's a good one? He's like The Hangover. Yeah. yeah, The Hangover is a good, good. movie because it's like horror. Horror is a classic movie. for couples to go watch. Like you go watch a scary movie. Yeah, but we're talking about not talking for the whole thing. A horror, you're not going to talk because you're scared. Yeah, you're going to be scared and covered. I know, up. I know horror. I know horror is. I know horror this is, is the classic, classic stereotype. Yeah. The teens go watch the horror movie at the theaters. What about be like suspenseful things? You can. Step you can watch a great movie. Do you know like what's a really good one? Is the Hunger Games. 
Hunger Games could yes, be a good one. Yes, but yes, the yes. problem with series is then you got to. Oh, actually, that's a good thing because then you got to finish the yeah. series oh, with them. Clever. So like a yeah, Christopher Nolan classic. Batman clever, trilogy. Clever. Christopher the Nolan Batman. <laughs> the trilogy. Mummy. Robbie keeps pointing at his phone and it's just the mummy. I think just in general, the whole concept of Valentine's Day and love. It's a really exciting one, guys. Mm. I really think it's just time to go buy a rock. It's riveting. <laughs> guys, getting quick. Rocks are going fast. Oh, my God. They're flying off the shelves, especially <laughs> love heart-shaped rocks. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Rock on. We love you. Yay. Mm. Moral of the story, buy a rock. <laughs> yeah. And ride on it. <laughs> Let them know it's from Yeah, you. make sure you write your name on the rock. <laughs> <laughs>